All right, Centennial High School, how we doing? Uh, good morning, or if this is not morning, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Shields, Vince Shields. Um, I am a student at the University of Illinois in the physical education teacher program. So uh, today they tasked me in making a nice uh, at home exercise workout for you guys. Um, I know teaching online has been a struggle, uh, trying to find things to do. So uh, one thing that I kind of tried to come up with was a nice little fun 10 minute, 15 minute exercise that anybody can do at home. Uh, if they get a little bored, you know, playing too many video games or watching too much TV, or even if a Zoom class just goes a bit too long and you need something to get you going. Uh, this uh this yoga routine that we're gonna go through today is a is a great way to get the blood pumping and kind of just get moving around. So uh, uh, without any further ado, I think uh, I'll take you through some of the uh, the setup, uh, some of the setup things that I'm, I'm gonna have you guys do before we get into the exercise. All right. So now that we got through the intro, uh, the first thing that I did uh, was I got changed into some nice comfortable athletic wear something that you can move around in nothing constricting got some sweatpants on just so i can get nice good movement through the activity um and then another challenge what we're gonna have to go through is you're gonna need to find about a six foot open area open space so for me i got a couple tables and chairs in my uh in my in our living room that i'm gonna have to move out of the way um so yeah if you need to go find somewhere in your room maybe, then maybe you got a desk chair in the way, or maybe like me in the living room, you got a table. If it's too heavy, maybe go ask mom, dad, brother, sister, somebody who can come help you and uh, move it so that we can get a, a, a solid open area for our, our exercise. All right, so for our first position, what we're gonna be doing is uh, a pretty basic one with a downward dog. Um, and so basically with this pose, what we're really looking for is we're gonna start out on our hands and our knees, and then we're gonna move into a push-up position. And then from the push-up position, we're gonna lift our our butt into a, an upside down V, um, and really try and engage the core on this. This will kind of just be a nice, easy core exercise while also being a, a good uh, stretch for our next exercises all right so i got the camera down here i'm gonna try and show you guys what i'm talking about best i can but so like i said we're gonna start out hands and knees go into the push-up position plank position and all you're gonna do from here is lift your butt sink your hips back and just sit right here so if i move to the side you can kind of see how my body creates a, a V upside down. So we're gonna be kind of like in that, that position. All right, so once we got the hang of that, we're gonna move into uh, the next position. And what we're gonna be doing with these first two positions is we're gonna make them comboed together. So we're gonna pair these two positions together uh, after we get a little practice getting, getting the right positions down. Um, I'm gonna have you guys do downward dog and then the next position, which is what I call Cobra, um, which I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna have you guys go from one to the next one, back to back 10 times. So it's 10 back to back reps where you go from downward dog into a Cobra, which I'll show you guys right now what that looks like. So with the Cobra, the key, the, the key thing I want you guys to focus on, focus in on is really feeling a stretch in your abs. So the Cobra is what you come down to a push up where you're all the way at the ground and chest on the ground. And what we do from here is you leave your hips and legs still on the ground while pushing your upper body up with your arms. So you're gonna feel it in your triceps and you're gonna feel it, it right in your core. So what, what the pair is gonna look like, what I want you guys to do once you uh, try the cobra a little bit is you're going to do 10 
downward dogs to cobras. So what that looks like is starting here in the push up, or right on your hands and knees, push up position, downward dog, all the way down into the cobra. And then back up, downward dog, all right? So that would be, that would be one rep. So I'm gonna have you guys do 10 of those. All right, so the next series I'm gonna have you guys do, we're gonna do just like we did in the other one, where I'm gonna give you two exercise, two positions, and we're gonna combo them together and do them in a pair. Um, the next one, it's a little, uh, a little be, it'll be a little hard to show you, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna be standing for the next one and then you're open space. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right, our right leg, and we're gonna pet, step it out past shoulder width so we're going to step it out past shoulder width and what we're going to do is we're going to lean on our knee and put all our weight over to our right leg so this leg is staying straight while this leg is being bent and putting our weight onto this right leg and then what we're going to do is you're going to rotate 45 degrees so that you're facing directly where your right knee, directly where your right knee is pointing, that's where your chest should be facing. So then we're right here, and you sit there for about five seconds, hold, and then come back. Okay, so that's, that's the first one. And then what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna be in the same spot as before, where we're standing up straight, but now we're gonna get our feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna take our hands and it's just gonna be a simple straight leg, hang, straight leg, bend at the waist and just touch three, touch the floor three times. First time in front of the feet, second time in line with the feet, third time behind. I'll show you a different angle, but for right now it's just boom, boom, boom. All three of those. So then if we're looking from my feet, well, if my feet are t in a line together, the first one in front, second one in line, third one behind, okay? So the, that's the two pairs. We'll go right leg, twist, back to center, one, two, three, and then go to the left leg. So then your left leg, you're putting your weight on your left leg, twist in the opposite direction. Okay, so when we'll do five each side. So five on your right, five on your left, but 10 in the middle, because those will be the transition between the two. All right, so after we finish the second pair, um, what, what you, I'm gonna have you guys do is you're gonna run through those two pairings with the down dog cobra and then the, uh, the standing twists with the, t the floor touches uh 10 remember it's 10 each i'm gonna have you guys do that in sets of three so a full set would be 10 down dogs to cobras and then 10 standing twists foot ground touches that would be one set um and so i'm gonna have you guys do that three times um and then finally for the last one what we're gonna do it's called it's my it's my favorite my favorite stretch it's the baby baby stretch um and what we're gonna do here is you're just gonna be on your on your knees and on your hands and you're gonna go down to your forearms like this and then just sit your butt back like over your ankles and then drop your head so you, you'll feel the stretch underneath your armpit and in your hips and so you're just gonna sit here and what we're going to do with this is I'm going to have you guys sit there for five minutes. And in that five minutes, I want you guys to kind of reflect on the, on the exercise and kind of just really collect your thoughts maybe of the day. Maybe, maybe you had a tough test in Spanish or maybe you got some home math homework you got to get done later today. I just want you to reflect on how your day went. What were some of the high moments? What were some of the boring moments uh and then just kind of 
once you get towards the end of the five minutes, kind of just bring your mind to a quiet peace. Um, and then that will basically be it for the day. That will kind of be the end of our little yoga experience. Um, this is, I mean, this is just a quick, easy workout that you can do at home. Like I said before, maybe you're just feeling a little stiff and you want to loosen up a little bit, but it's, it's important now that we're transitioning from the online learning that we still continue to get in daily exercise because it's, uh, it's too much sitting around is going to have a pretty adverse effect on our health. So let's be conscious of our movement. Maybe be conscious of uh, how much water we're drinking, stay hydrated. Um, and other than that, I mean, go out and have a good day. Thanks for uh, listening and thanks for participating.